guys, welcome back to Nurse Catherine here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about a normal respiratory rate and how to count a respiratory rate. the basic what do you actually even need to know before counting a respiratory rate well you need to know what is a normal respiratory rate so a normal respiratory rate is anything between 12 to 20 that's 12 to 20 breaths per minute not per 30 seconds not per 15 seconds that's a full one minute 60 seconds and secondly how are you actually going to count this respiratory rate so there are two ways that I have always learned how to count a respiratory rate which makes it simple and the patient actually doesn't even know you're doing it the first one would be while checking the radial pulse right in the wrist if you guys don't know where the radial pulse is how to count that go check out my video from last Tuesday that will teach you how to count a radial pulse but put your fingers on count your 30 seconds of your radial pulse then kind of act like you're still counting the radial pulse, but this time you're going to look at the chest. You're going to look at the rise of the chest and the fall. So you can watch mine as I take a deep breath. So one rise and one fall, that is one breath. The in, the inspiratory, and the out is the expiratory. So you've counted the radial pulse for 30 seconds. Now you count how many times the chest rises and falls in the other 30 seconds while you're still acting like you're taking the radial pulse. Now when you get to the end of the 30 seconds, make sure you times that by two to get the full one minute breaths per minute. Okay, so the other way to count a respiratory rate would be doing it when you're assessing the apical pulse. You could do that. So you're listening for a full one minute normally for an apical pulse, or you can just do 30 seconds. So listen 30 seconds or one minute, either one, and then count an additional 30 seconds or a full minute, depending on the patient, and see how many times, again, the chest is rising and falling. Now remember, breaths per minute is between 12 and 20, and that is not per 30 seconds, even though sometimes you are only counting for 30 seconds. And that is it for today's video, guys. Make sure to stay tuned for Saturday's vlog style videos and every Tuesday's educational videos. Have a very, very blessed week, and I'll see you in the next video.